What's up, everyone? It is a Saturday morning-ish in Las Vegas. Best day of the week to play some poker on the Strip, and that's what we are going to do. So to kick things off, there's uh, 1B of the $600 buy-in, 250K, 100K, one of those, guaranteed over at Venetian. And if that doesn't work out well, I'll bring enough cash to jump in a cash game in the win, or maybe walk over to Aria Bellagio. The tricky thing about playing tournaments on a Saturday here is that let's say you play the tournament, you bust out like 6, 7 p.m. and you want to get in a cash game, there's already long enough lists that it could be one to two hours before you even get a seat. And oftentimes if you get a seat, you know, maybe it's because the soft spots in the game left. Um, but you know what, Saturdays are really good. And so what we'll do is play the tournament. Hopefully that keeps us busy until the end of the night. But if not, we'll check out the uh, Bravo Poker app to see where we can get in a game, go over there. So I'm gonna get myself over to the Venetian. I'll do more updates from there, hopefully for the next nine-ish hours. And if not, We'll bring you guys along for the cash game. All right, speak soon. All right, it is the second break of the Venetian 600, and unfortunately, I'm already on my third bullet. So I'm in for uh, 1,800 on the day. Busted the first bullet in kind of a marginal hand where I called a raise with 8-10 suited in the big blind in a three-way pot. Fought the pair in a couple of back doors, caught the bet. On the turn, I was open-ended with the pair and there was a flush draw on the board and uh, my opponent put me in. I thought I probably barely had enough equity to make the call, but it was really close and he just had two pair in one. And my second bullet was much more interesting. Uh, I had just arrived at the table. It played an orbit and a half. The guy had been pretty active, but I mean, what does 10 hands mean? Raises in mid position. I call king of clubs, jack of hearts, and the big blind called as well. Big blind I didn't know, uh, didn't have any real assumptions about him, but he had maybe 50K. I had 30, opener had 75. And the flop was jack of diamonds, 10 of diamonds, queen of clubs. So I had middle pair, open ender, everyone checked turn was a nine of clubs so i turned a straight to go with my pair i checked a big blind bet 3000 opener folded and i called and then the river was the jack of clubs completing the backdoor flush draw uh giving me trips to go along with my king high straight my opponent bet 4000 and i thought that was a size that was pretty congruent with a king didn't really think he would have ace king very much since he would three bet pre-flop. I wasn't really about queens for the same reason. So I thought I was in a spot where I was typically calling the chop. Sometimes I would lose to a flush or a random full house, but a full house wasn't very likely when I had the jack blocker. Um, having the king of clubs blocker was nice against flushes. And I thought this would be a cool spot to turn my hand into a bluff and check shove to uh, chop block him as it were, since I think that, was, that a king was a lot of his range in this spot. And that, you know, even the times he has ace king somehow or a weak flush, when I check shove there, it's really, really gross for him. And if he has a full house, well, good for him, you know, too bad. So I went all in for 25,000 and he tanked for a long time and eventually called and I turned over my hand, unsure if I was good, but he had ace diamonds, king of hearts. So I did not expect him to show up with that. Not a lot you can do there. I feel really good about my shove. I think that play works a ton and, uh, Makes a bunch of money there, but it did not work today. So we're on bullet three. We're about to play 501,000. I come in with 35 blinds. Let's run it up. Name, chip count, right here. Anyway, okay? Just name and chip count, that's it? Yeah, name and chip count, that's it. Okay. All right, y'all, it's been a very long day here at the Venetian. We're finally wrapping up around midnight on Saturday, which is like very, very early in Las Vegas, but uh, I've been playing for the last 11 hours. 510 No Limit game came together right after the tournament finished up, and it was super good and shorthanded, so I jumped in that for a couple hours and uh, ran very well. Made about 2,500, so I went for four bullets in the tournament, and uh, you know, worst case scenario, I'm up $100 on my last two days at the Venetian, and it looks like first tomorrow is going to be 62, 63,000, so we'll be back here at noon to battle it out for that, and if it doesn't go well, we'll then ride into the online games. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. 
Alright, what's up guys? After a very, very long day on the strip, it's about midnight now. I got to the Venetian a little before noon. We have won a tournament. I played online tournaments while I was playing cash here at the Aria. Only two of them. I played the 320 with the big guarantee for like four or five bullets and got crushed. And then I played the 506 Max for just the one bullet and uh, made it to the final table, second in chips. Played a couple suspect hands when I was like uh, three-handed and then heads up, but I won them both. Drew out of my opponent for all of the chips and uh, locked up the win for 15,800. So definitely my biggest online tournament score in quite some time. And uh, shit, I mean, that was even my biggest tournament cash in like, at least since the World Series last summer. Definitely the one I, in terms of ROI, I've won the most in. So yeah, really cool times. Glad to see that the, the work that I put in today paid off. And uh, you know, even if I had to get lucky in the end, that's all good. So tomorrow's a Monday, pretty quiet in terms of gambling in Vegas, unless there's special occasions. So uh, we'll just relax, do some homework, do some editing. All right, guys, have a good night. Talk later. What's up, guys? So as I said in the last video, it has actually been quite a successful week of poker here in Las Vegas. Getting my first online score in forever was a great feeling. Uh, I haven't gotten to play online that much over the last few years, but now that it is making a resurgence in the United States, and especially here in Nevada, New Jersey, Delaware, the tournaments are quite good on the sites available, and they're only going to get better with hopefully more states joining the fold. But I wanted to use this opportunity to look at a couple of the hands that I encountered deep in that $500 tournament that I didn't feel great about, that I wasn't certain of. So I ran them by my friend Mike Watson, who is you know one of the top pros in the game right now, got his advice, and that led me to feel a little better about how I played them. So here's how they went down. Our first hand comes from three-handed, uh, and as you can see, the chips were very unevenly distributed. The chip leader had me about two to one with like 530,000. I had about 280,000, and then the shorty had like 80-something thousand to start the hand, um, and we were playing 62.50 and 12.5, so really high blinds. He only had a few blinds, and it becomes this awkward question of, with the pay jumps, and here's a look at the pay jumps there. You can see it's uh, like 6,500 for uh, third, a little over 9K for second, and 15.8 for first. So I really want to avoid going out in third when the guy in third place is so short relative to my stack. That doesn't mean I can completely knit it up and avoid all risk. So I wasn't sure exactly the range I'm supposed to be shoving on over a button to open, and I felt like ace-10 suited was probably a little too good to just like flat and hope the big blind does something dumb. And like, even if he does, if he jams and then the button rejams, like now what? You know, so I ripped it in. I feel like that's probably close to one of the worst hands that I would be ripping there. But again, I see him as very awkward. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and the big blind folded and the button just snapped us off with pocket jacks and we drilled an ace straight away on the flop. Uh, and that was awesome. So all of a sudden we were the chip leader. He was definitely in second and then we had a shorty we knocked out that shorty quickly after, and then we played a heads-up hand, like only a few hands into heads-up, that again, I really wasn't sure about, and again, I had ace-10, and it went, my opponent opened to 27,000, I three-bet to 78-8, and we were like 45 blinds effective to start this hand, uh, and he shoved, and again, <laughs> I find myself with what I think is the worst hand I'm supposed to call off here. I mean, heads up is really not my game, guys, and it's something I'm gonna need to work to improve on. I think the best heads up players at these stacks are sit and go players. They just practice this scenario over and over again. Um, but I do think my opponent would likely shove every pair, uh, many suited aces, maybe all the suited aces, maybe not. It's hard to say. Some tournament players do more flatting than they should. Um, maybe some of the suited broadways definitely should shove the suited broadways here. Um, maybe not the weakest ones, but it wouldn't surprise me if those are shoves too. Again, this is not exactly an area where I am the biggest expert. You know, all the better aces, some broadways like king queen, some people shove king jack, some people flat it, some people shove suited connectors, some people flat them. And I felt like I had enough equity, especially with the price that I was getting, that ace 10 was a call. So I did make the call. My opponent had 10s, we troll again. 
and he had like 10,000 chips left or something, so I don't remember what the last hand was, but that's how you win a big online tournament, guys, or a medium online tournament, whatever you want to call it. That's how you get it done, guys. You just suck out on people at the end, so I was very happy to uh, make that happen. Now, as for what's going on this week in Las Vegas, there is so much poker. I know I say that every time, but uh, tomorrow is an $800 eight max tournament at the Venetian. That's a 1A. The following day is 1B. Hopefully, I can get through on one bullet. Uh, this weekend, there's more tournaments, plus all the cash games going on. And then next Tuesday is the Venetian's main event. They're having a million dollar guarantee, 1600 no limit. That's 1A. And like right after is World Series Circuit and win. Uh, so there's going to be a lot more poker coming up. And I reached out to my guy, Johnny Vibes, who runs an awesome poker vlog. You guys have probably watched his, if you're watching mine. But if you haven't, check his out because he does a really good job. I've been watching his to learn how to present the poker moments in my vlog and he just does a great job so i reached out to him about getting some graphics uh and uh, maybe we'll talk to him in a future vlog but uh, appreciate him being willing to to help out a fellow vlogger and uh, best of luck to all you guys on your grind and whatever you're gambling on this week i'll have more coming up from vegas in the next couple of days all right see you later guys so if you've enjoyed this vlog and want more great gambling content please subscribe and i'll keep it coming for you thanks